What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI TV. Now today it's going to be a super quick video and um, basically I'm thinking about starting a career mode on the channel during the off season and um, just something to keep the content coming out. So it's going to be a real interactive series with you guys making a lot of decisions and the first decision I want you guys to make is what team I should start the career with. Basically going to run through all the teams now quickly and a few uh, little pointers on each one and you guys can then decide at the poll at the end of this video um, which team you would like to see me use. So yeah it's going to be a super quick video but make should stick around till the end to cast your vote in the poll and leave a comment below um, with your saying what your vote was and why you think I should use that team. So yeah, let's jump right into the video. Starting off with Bohemians, and I think this one will be a very, very popular choice. Um, I always see lots of comments and stuff um, from Bohemians fans on the channel, so I think this could be a popular choice. Um, there's lots of young talent, of course, to develop in the Bose squad. Um, the Bose board wants a high focus on youth academy development, which is very similar to real life, um, with the whole St. Kevin's Boys partnership that they have at the moment. Um, they finished third in the league in real life, so that's something you would have to look to replicate. Um, they definitely have the players to do with young talents like Danny Mandrew and Danny Grant, uh, Dara Leahy, James Talbot who will become star players in the league if they're not already and hopefully on a European stage and um, they have a really strong team who should be challenging uh, at the top of the table from the very very beginning of the career so yeah that's an interesting one. The next possible team we could look at is Cork City and given their current predicament in real life that could be a fascinating career mode to do. They have a decent transfer budget to invest with but the board will want a good league position more than likely challenging at the top end of the table there is a lot of young talents mixed with some top pros but the squad is definitely in need of a lot of freshening up and there will be a lot of work to do with the team straight from the off in terms of ins and outs the next team is Derry City and this could also be an interesting one it's another team who will be expecting to challenge for the top three and it has a team again where the board would be focused on youth development they have a strong team already, especially in the midfield area with Greg Sloggett, Kieran Harkin and Barry McNamee which gives the team a really really good base to build from. A big problem with Derry is that their two star attackers, David Parkhouse and Junior are only loan deals so they would need to be replaced at the end of the season. The next team is Dundalk and their team is already in place along with a huge built budget to win all the domestic trophies. There's big big pressure to do really really well in the domestic league and cup and um, big pro focus uh, in the career would be of course progressing in, in Europe from the very very beginning and um, the team is full of top class talents in the league with the likes of Pat Hoban, Michael Duffy, Patrick McAnelly, Chris Shields who will be ready, ready to deliver from the very start of their career mode. They have great strength and depth with the likes of Georgie and Dan Kelly, Jordan Flores, Sean Murray and Brian Gartland on the bench so there really is no excuse not to win the league. The next team is Finn Harps and that's a complete drastic change from Dundalk. This would be a huge challenge. With a minuscule budget, a poor squad and not much strength and depth, it would be a real rags to riches kind of story if I was to get them competing in a European level. It might be one of the more interesting career modes for a neutral fan if that could be the one that would be the most voted on the poll. They have a very defensive formation with five at the back and have an aging Rafael Crotaro who will probably have one season left in them alongside the talented Nathan Boyle up front. Cowan and Todd would try and keep things tight at the back but a lot of work is needed with this team. Best way of progressing with Finn Harps will be through youth academy players. The next team is Shamrock Rovers who the managerial job would probably be the most high pressure on the list. Definitely on par with Dundalk anyways. Uh, not as big as a budget as may be expected but definitely enough talent already at the club to win the league. The board views domestic success as a critical objective. They have a really really strong team with very few weaknesses. They have the best player in the league arguably with uh, the creative spark Jack Byrne brings. He is joined in their impressive midfield by the likes of Aaron McEnough and on loan Graeme Burke. Burke and Byrne are both Irish internationals. They also have young talents like Gary O'Neill and Neil Frugia who will challenge their places as well. European football will be a challenge for Shamrock Rovers but it's one they're definitely capable of um, rising to the occasion for. The next team is Sligo Rovers which would definitely be an interesting save. A team definitely capable of a higher finish than the seventh place they finished in the league in real life. The Sligo fans will be dreaming of a return to the glory days, similar to when Paul Cook was in charge. Sligo's team already contains a very dangerous versatile front three with Romeo Parks, Ronan Coughlin and Chris Twardick. They have some very good defensive players as well such as John Mahon and Lewis Banks which gives Sligo a good group of core players capable of being in the top half. St Pat's Vinci Core on another side hopeful of a return to the glory days. St. Pat's fans will soon be demanding an end to their recent mid-table mediocrity and wanting some silverware. They have a very decent squad but definitely need some freshening up. They 100% lack a top LOI striker capable of firing them to the top of the table 
with Gary Shaw just not cutting it. Talents like Chris Forrester and Rhys McCabe are capable of being top players in the league and young players like Jamie Lennon and Glenn McCauley provide a good blend with the experience of Ian Birmingham and Simon Madden. There's not too many reasons denying Pats from being worthy title challengers with a little bit of work. UCD are next up and similar to Finn Harps it's a huge challenge but again a very very interesting one. UCD have been in Europe before and the aim would be eventually get them back there. Youth development and managing finances are what the board holds as critical objectives. This career would definitely need to be a patient one. Youth academy prospects will be crucial and they have done some decent youngsters already in the side. Connor Kearns, Liam Scales, Jay McClelland and Yo-Yo Maddy just to name a few. I don't think UCD would be a popular option in the polls though. And the final option for you to choose from is Waterford. The board's main objectives are being to keep the club in a healthy financial position. They have a mediocre transfer budget but a lot of areas that need fixing in their team and strength and depth for them is a huge huge problem. They're blessed with some great talents such as Zach Elbozetti, JJ Loney and Rory Feely but they're very very weak in the striker department in particular. Apart from Rory Feely there's a lot of work that needs to be done on their defensive and goalkeeping areas if they want a challenge for the top three. Youth players would once again of course be a necessity. So there you have it guys the 10 options I'm giving you for a career mode series. If you like the idea of the series make sure to leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below. But the most important thing is that you leave your vote on the poll on screen. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, make sure to like, share and most importantly subscribe.